Action News Jax has complete team coverage tracking every angle of the storm across Georgia and Florida and in the First Alert Weather Center. Families living on Black Creek in Clay County tell us it isn't Dorian they're worried about, it's the flooding afterwards, and they got the worst of it in our area during Irma back in 2017. Action News Jax Beth Rousseau picks up our team coverage. She's live from Black Creek now, and Beth, homeowners there are still cleaning up nearly two years later. That's the case for the owner of this home. She tells me during Hurricane Matthew, floodwaters came right about to here. Fast forward to Hurricane Irma in 2017. She says that those waters came all the way up to here and made their way inside her house. So she's really worried about what Dorian will do. Shelves are finally going in at Diane Page's home on Black Creek. I've ch changed it a little bit. She tells me her house has been a construction site since Hurricane Irma in 2017. The inside was, it, it was just destroyed. It was terrible. The home is raised, but that didn't stop one and a half feet of water from flooding in. Two years ago, Action News Jack showed you the water rising around homes along Black Creek. I don't come back very often because it's just too depressing for me. Right now, county leaders are planning ahead for flooding with possible evacuations. The county has also asked for more swift water rescue resources. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Clay Electric asked customers to be ready for up to seven days days without power. Shelters in the county could open as early as Sunday. Sandbag stations are opening Saturday, but Page says that won't do any good for homes on the creek. I just pray to God that it doesn't destroy my home again. Paige says she really hasn't been doing much to get this house ready for the storm. She says she doesn't know how much good it will do. However, I did talk to people right across the way who say they've been prepping all week. I'll show you what they're doing coming up all new on Action News Jax at 6. We're live in Clay County. Beth Russo, CBS 47, Action News Jax.